Hey guys, so I'm making tacos, vegan tacos, and uh, the first thing I did so far was take uh, corn in the can and black beans from the can and uh, rinse it in the sink. So I like to rinse it just to get rid of all the sodium that comes in the sauce in the can and also like the gassiness that beans will give you. So yeah, this is what I, how I like it. I just take it out the can and then just rinse it cold water and this is how it looks okay now I'm going to take it and put it in another bowl okay so now that I transfer it to another bowl um, I'm going to season it a little bit I don't have any taco seasoning so I'm just going to make my own so I'm going to use adobo garlic pepper seasoning, uh, chipotle chili powder, just a little bit, ground cumin and or cumin and um, dried cilantro. I'm just gonna take a good amount of adobo, some of the garlic pepper. I'm really generous with my seasoning because I like a lot of flavor. And uh, a little bit of the ch chili, chipotle chili powder because I don't want it to be too spicy where I can't enjoy it. But I also like to have that little kick. Ah! Shit, something just spilled. Okay. Then some cumin, just a little bit because I don't really like the taste like that. But I know for that taco seasoning taste, you need a little bit. And then I love cilantro, so I like to put a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, and of course, fresh is better. But if I'm not having fresh cilantro, and that is it, and I'm just going to mix it. I'm just gonna mix it to make sure all the seasoning is in there. And I love that this is easy because it's already cooked. It's from the can. You already know what seasoning you're putting in it, so it's better than getting it out. If you want to go processed, you can get vegan ground uh, beef. And sometimes I do like to do that, but also it's good to take a break sometimes and just do like whole foods. So yeah, beans have a lot of protein and corn is good for you as well. And I will also be taking some lime and squeezing it. Okay, these are the tortillas that I'm using. So it's Mission Flour Tortillas, and it says for heat on it, but obviously you can use them for tacos as well. So you can either heat these up on the stove if you want to, but I'm going to just toast it in the uh, toaster. Okay guys, so all I did next was warm up the tortillas that I'm going to use and then I chopped up some veggies that I want on top. Um, so I just have lettuce, red onion, tomatoes, and I, as you saw, I squeezed some lime juice into the bean and corn mixture. So you can add whatever you want. I know some people like jalapenos. Um, I don't have cilantro, I just have dried. So. If I have fresh, I would chop that up too. Um, so yeah, just chop up whatever veggies you want on top. And then also I'm going to show you the sauce that I make that I like to go on top as well. Okay guys, so I already made a little bit, but I'm going to be making a little bit more. So I'm just gonna show you what I used. I used blue agave just to make it sweet. And then to give it a little kick, I used hot sauce. And then I used vegan mayo, so this is Hellman's. Hellman's has vegan mayo. This is really expensive, but it's worth it. And then um, I have some just regular ketchup and then the rest of the lime juice from the lime that I used earlier. So I just put it all in this container and then mix it all around and that's what I'm going to use on top. 
Okay guys, so now I have all my toppings. I have everything I need to make the tacos. I have the bean mixture. I warmed up the tacos. I have my lettuce, tomato, onions, and I cut up some more limes. I have my sauce that I'm gonna put on top, which is like a mayo, uh, what would you call this? Mayo, mayo ketchup, mayo chup, spicy, ranch I don't know but I have my sauce I'm gonna put on top um, my cilantro that I'm gonna use for decoration and I also remembered that I had some guacamole in the fridge that I wanted to add as well so now I'm gonna show you how to make the tacos I'm probably just gonna show you how I do one because it's a little difficult to like hold this and then do it with my one hand so I'll just go show you how I do one and then I'll show you how it turns out at the end okay, so first I'm going to take some lettuce I'm going to put it on the taco. And let's hope I can do this right on camera. Okay, maybe that's a little too much. Okay, now I'm going to take the mixture and I'm going to put it on top of the lettuce. It might go, kind of go everywhere, but I'll just pick it up and put it on top after. Yeah, just pick it up, put it back. Okay, next I'm going to add the tomatoes. Same thing, if it falls, just put it back on top. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. I take pictures and I post it. But if it's not perfect, it's okay. But I just want it to be looking nice. I'm gonna take the red onion and put it on top. So just sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. And don't forget how colorful this looks already. I'm going to take the mayo mixture. I'm gonna put it on top. I'm kind of worried because usually when I try to like drizzle sauce, it doesn't go how I want it to. But I'm gonna try my best. Okay, ready? So let's go. Here it is. See, I didn't get enough, so I need to get some more to finish. I'll just finish where I left off and do like a zigzag. And that's enough. I've learned over time, don't overdo it. Okay, next, I'm just going to take a little bit of the guacamole and just put like a little dollop on top. Now I realized putting the guac on top, I lost some of the drizzle, so I'm gonna add some more drizzle because now you can't even see it. Ooh, I'm spilling it, spilling it everywhere. <coughs> oh God. Okay, so I'm gonna add more. Once again, I never grab enough, so I'm going to get some more and drizzle. Okay, now it's okay. You see, I hate when that happens. I hate when it doesn't go where I want it to go. So I'm just gonna okay. okay, you guys. So next, I'm going to the final thing is just to add the cilantro on top. So if I had fresh, it would be better. But I just have dried, so I'm just gonna add the dried on top. And I love cilantro, so I go in on this part. Okay, and that is it. Now I just add a little lime for decoration, and hopefully, you guys can see it looks pretty good. Uh, the drizzle didn't go exactly how I wanted, but it still looks good. And now I'm just going to take the other two and make it look like this one. And I'm going to take pictures. Uh, so if you don't follow me, follow me. My IG is underscore Foxy Vegan. That's where I post all my vegan pictures. looking beautiful and these are great these are colorful and very flavorful and they're vegan and they're healthy and good for you so I recommend everyone try it I cannot wait to eat I'm so tired after doing all that work and making everything but yes this is how they look they look great and if you like this video make sure to give it a like and comment down below 
what tacos or what you like on top of your tacos and if you don't follow me already follow me on my vegan page underscore foxy vegan thank you for watching let me know what other big vegan videos you want me to do and i will see you next time bye